What's up guys, Chef Billy Parisi here, and today, oh today, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I'm getting ready to make one of my favorite recipes of all time. I know I always say that, but I mean it. Creamy shrimp and cheddar grits, and I'm gonna be using Bob's Red Mill Southern Style White Corn Grits to make this insanely delicious recipe that I learned from my friends down south. The first thing we need to do is get cranking on those grits. Grits are actually really, really easy to make. The first thing we need to do is boil up some chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock. Heck, you can even use water. Doesn't matter to me. But while it is getting boiled, let's go ahead and measure out our white corn grits. I'm using Bob's Red Mill. They make amazing products. We use everything from flour, all of their grains, their whole wheat pastry flour. Honestly, I can't get enough of what they're doing. We trust them. We love them. And of course, we're going to use their grits. They're perfectly ground up. And if you're unfamiliar with grits and maybe you're Italian, then you know all about polenta. This is exactly how, what you would use to get there. Also, it's wonderful for porridge. My kid just loves to eat it just plain. I mean, dude, it's super good. You should just eat it by itself too, because it's awesome. All right, once we are measured up and the vegetable or chicken stock or water is boiling, let's go ahead and add in our grits and stir away. It's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. Just like they said in the movie, My Cousin Vinny, no self-respecting Southerner cooks with Insta grits, and we aren't either. So this is gonna take just a little bit of time to get them to al dente. Don't get too frustrated, just keep stirring. Think risotto, stir, stir, stir. The grits are gonna soak up that chicken stock, and they're gonna start to cook and break down and become really tender. In the meantime, I'm just gonna shred up some white cheddar cheese, because it's just gonna finish off really nicely in this recipe. So once our grits are till al dente or slightly crunchy, cook it to this point because, dude, they're going to be left aside while we cook our shrimp. So they're going to continue to cook. Let's add in a whole stick of butter. Yes, that's right. An entire stick of butter. We got a lot of grits here. Next, let's go ahead and sprinkle in our shredded white cheddar cheese. Season it up with sea salt, a little bit of white pepper because we don't want to alter the color too much. Hit it up with a little bit of hot sauce, super southern style right there. Mix it up, get it super creamy. It is delicious. Try not to eat this whole thing because it's literally insane. You are gonna love this and it's gonna be your new favorite thing, I promise. If all you folks who don't live in the South and aren't familiar with grits, this is where it's at, promise you. So now let's move on to the shrimp. Okay, this is also really easy to do, but you're gonna be moving things in and out of this pan. So move the grits to the side. Go ahead and put a nice pan onto the burner. Turn it up to about medium, medium high heat. We're gonna add in just a tad bit of oil. It's gonna help lubricate the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna cook off some pancetta. You can use things like bacon or even prosciutto. I love the seasonings and the fat that's in the pancetta. It's gonna bring a lot of flavor to this dish. We wanna cook them until the lardons are nice and crispy or brown, just like you would cook bacon, same thing. Once they are brown, go ahead and put them in a bowl and set them to the side. We're now gonna add in some shrimp. I've got some 1620s, which means 16 to 20 shrimp per pound. These things are kind of big, more on the jumbo size. I like big fat shrimp, I can't help myself. They're delicious, they're more delicious. So go ahead and add our shrimp right to the pan. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of garlic. And what we wanna do is par cook these. We don't wanna cook them all the way through, okay? We wanna get them to that nice pink color, even if they brown up a little bit, totally cool. Once they are cooked, Take them back out of the pan. I know, dude, it's getting a little crazy, but I promise it's coming together. Take the shrimp out of the pan, set them to the side, and then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of cream sherry. This is gonna bring this thing to another level that you can't imagine. We wanna cook it down, reduce it by about one half. The flavor's gonna get really concentrated. Then we're gonna hit in some heavy whipping cream. Yep, not for the faint at heart, okay? Lots of creamy deliciousness in here. So we wanna cook this down until it becomes very thick. Think Alfredo sauce or nappe. Here's what you do to get to that point. Go ahead and put a spoon in there, stir it, flip it over. If it coats the spoon and then you put your finger through the spoon and you notice that the cream doesn't come into that little marker where you put your finger, that's nappe. That means we're in good shape. Now let's add back in the cooked shrimp. We're gonna put back in the cooked pancetta. Next thing we wanna do is just mix this together. Of course, season it with salt and pepper. Get it really nice and flavorful and boom, everything's finished. Let's plate this thing up. All right, guys, it is time to plate up. I can't wait too much longer. It smells insane in here. Let's go ahead and add in our cheddar buttery, creamy, delicious grits right to the bowl. 
Next, we're gonna put on a few shrimp. You can do them all or just do a couple, but man, let some other people get into this because it's super good, dude. Don't be, do not be too greedy with this. You wanna share this, it's amazing. Add in some shrimp, pour in a little bit of that creamy goodness. And last but not least, I'd like to finish off with a little sliced green onions and parsley. Alrighty, the shrimp and grits is finished up. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. Honestly, the scents, just absolutely glorious. I told you this is one of my favorite things to make. Can't wait to get in this, give me a second. Let's try it out. Man, grits are just so awesome. So cheddary, so cheesy. The sauce from the shrimp to die for. Get up in this, make it. It's literally done in less than an hour. Who can get something this awesome in under an hour? That's what I thought. Thanks guys. I got more to eat. We'll catch up with you later. Come back next week. We got a new video for you.